Thanks to Narwhal for sponsoring this video. A few months ago, I bought my first house ever. It's a huge accomplishment for me, something we were working for for a long time, and by far the biggest purchase I've ever made. And I don't know about you, but when I've really worked hard for something and I finally get it, I wanna make sure everything is perfect, everything is clean, everything is as it should be, and that is especially true when it comes to your home. But at the same time, keeping your house clean is not exactly the easiest task. It's something you have to always be doing. So any place that I can get some help, well, I'm gonna take it. And that's where the Narwhal Frio comes in. This is a two-in-one robot vacuum and mop system that takes cleaning your home to the next level. Before we get into any of the features of this, I wanna talk about something that I don't often hit on when it comes to these types of products, and that's the design. I mean, yes, I, I love good design products, I want them to look good, but generally when it comes to like an appliance, the way it looks isn't all that important. You want it to function, and if it doesn't look that great while doing it, well, it's not a big deal because it's you know just kind of sitting in the corner, right? But when it comes to something like this, you're having a huge base station in your home at all times, you do kind of want it to blend in and look good, and if I'm being honest, looking good doesn't seem to be a top priority for a lot of these robot vacuum companies. They function really well, but that's kind of it. This one, on the other hand, does a really good job of blending into your home. It has a nice sleek design for the dock, and the Narwhal Frio itself kind of hides itself inside of the dock. So when you're not using it and it's just sitting there charging or refilling or doing whatever it's doing, it really just blends in. And that's just something I wanted to hit on up front because this is going to be sitting on your floor at all times and you're going to be looking at it and you want it to look good. And I think they did a pretty decent job at that. But that being said, I mean, looking good is probably the least important factor here. You want it to perform as good as possible. And I think what's interesting about the Narwhal Frio is that this is different from other robot vacuum and mop systems because instead of being a vacuum first that also can mop, this seems to be a mop that can also vacuum. And that is a very slight distinction that makes the world of difference. Now, I'm not gonna act like I'm a cleaning expert or anything, but in the times that I have mopped in my life, which has been quite a few, it's not like the easiest task in the world. You really have to get in there. There's some manual power you have to put into it to get a really clean floor. And handing that task over to a robot is great because you don't have to mop anymore, but whether or not it's going to do a good job is you know, a completely different question. But the Narwhal Frio, I think, does it better than any of the ones that I've tried before. And the main thing that I was keeping in my mind while evaluating this this is whether or not it was going to do a good enough job that I never have to mop myself. Like, is this good for a weekly basis, but you know, every month I have to still go back and do that really deep clean, or does this do everything? And I think for the most part, this does everything. So if you look at the bottom of the Frio, there are two big mopping heads here and they actually rotate and vibrate and that's how it's doing its cleaning. So instead of using like micro vibrations or pulses or anything like that, this is actually scrubbing your floors. And while it is cleaning, there are a few intelligent features built in to give you the best clean possible. So for instance, it can automatically detect how much dirt is on your floor and it can you know decide if it needs to go back and mop again or if it's perfectly clean and doesn't need to focus on that area anymore. The Frio also has corner traps technology, which is what Narwhal calls it. Basically, this is to get into those corners and still clean every single area. So it does a smart swing. So it actually like swivels out and cleans in every single nook and cranny. And that smart swing feature is something I've never really seen before. And it really gets in there, which is great for getting a deep clean. And it can automatically adjust how much pressure it's using, how much liquid is being used, depending on the type of flooring you have. So if you're on hardwood, if you're on laminate, if you're on tile, it can handle all of those. And it can actually go up to a max of 12 newtons of pressure, so it can really get in there and clean. Now that's kind of on the robot side of things, but I think equally important is the docking station because this is where you can choose the different cleaning modes and this is where your fresh and dirty water is kept. Now, like I mentioned up front, this docking station actually looks pretty good. It's sleek, it's elegant, and there is not much to it except for a small LCD touch panel and the entry for where the robot will enter. But that's kind of all you see. Now, underneath of that, there is obviously more here. So that is where two 1.5 liter containers are, and one is for your fresh water, so we can reload and you know keep going. And the other is for emptying, and that's where all your dirty water goes. Another really nice hidden feature actually in this compartment though, that you really just don't see unless you look for it, is a section where you can install cleaning solution. Now, Narwhal gives you one of these and it's kind of a proprietary bottle, which could be an issue in the future if you don't wanna buy this. 
but it inserts here very seamlessly so that you don't have anything on the outside of the dock. And you can go into the settings and tell it if you want to use detergent, but you don't actually have to use this if you don't want to. You can just run it with clean water and that's it. But I like that you have the option of using detergent because, you know, that does help get a better clean. Plus it gives you a nice subtle clean smell. And you know, when you're cleaning, I think you want it to feel clean as much as it looks clean. So it's a nice thing to have the option to use at the very least. Now, aside from just dumping out the dirty water, this can also clean the mop brushes themselves. So after it's cleaned your whole house or, you know, a room or whatever, if it detects it's too dirty, it'll actually return back to the dock and scrub those mop heads so that it can continue cleaning or so that it can, you know, be done for the next time you want to use it. And if it is finished and has already cleaned those mop heads, it will also dry them so that it's not just, you know, wet sitting there. And there's actually a few modes of doing this. There is a silent mode, which takes a while. It takes about five hours to fully dry it, but it is using heated air up to 40 degrees centigrade. And there is a stronger mode, which will just blow more air onto it. So that'll take about three hours to fully dry it. But this is one feature that I think is a must have. If you just leave a wet rag sitting there for, you know, days on end, that is not a recipe for something good that can, you know, easily have bacteria, smell, all kinds of things. So the fact that it dries it off so that it's ready to go for the next time, that's a nice touch. Now up on top is that LCD display, like I mentioned, and this is a touchscreen that you can select different cleaning modes that are available. So you have options to either first vacuum and then mop. You can mop and vacuum. There's what they call the Frio mode. And then you can either just vacuum or just mop. So there's a few different options you can choose depending on what kind of cleaning you need. And here you can also select all the different settings, like if you have detergent or if you don't, there's things like a do not disturb mode, so it won't have any lights or any sounds. Pretty much all the settings can be controlled from the device itself, so you can choose how you want it to clean right from this without needing to do anything else. Although there is actually an app that you can use as well to do all the same things, but it's nice that you don't have to use the app if you don't want to. You know, you're walking by, you see that you want to mop, hit it right there on the docking station and it'll start going. No need to pull out your phone. It's a nice touch. As this is running, I just wanted to give you a little demo of one of my favorite features, which is how quiet it is. I mean, you can hear it, but considering this is mopping my floor right now and it's a robot, I'm pretty impressed with just how quiet it is. So for me, this means I can run it overnight. Now let's real quick hit on the vacuuming. Like I mentioned, this really seems to be a mop first, vacuum second. And that really kind of made me question, like, is this going to be an adequate vacuum? You know, sure, it's possible that it's going to do it, but is it really worth using? And I think that, yes, it does work well enough to be your only vacuum if you want it to be. In my experience with these robot vacuums, once you get to that initial cleaning done and you get back into a schedule, so it's cleaning, you know, every day or every other day, your floors don't get that dirty. So you don't need like the absolute best suction power, the absolute best vacuum you can get. As long as you have a decent amount of suction, it's going to work. And that's kind of what the Narwhal Frio gives you. Now, like I mentioned, we're talking about the different modes. You can do a vacuum and mop mode with this. Now, the way it does that is by actually lifting the mop heads out of the way when it gets to carpet. And that's something that's different from the previous T10 model, which you would actually have to physically remove the mop heads when you wanted to vacuum. That kind of takes away from the whole seamlessness of this. This can just do it on its own. So if you want to vacuum and mop at the same time and you have carpet, it will work no problem. Now, this has a 480 milliliter dustbin built in it actually doesn't empty into the dock. So if there's one thing to add for like a next generation, that'd probably be it. Like I said, it's a mop first, vacuum second. But I found that it takes about a week to fill that up. Like I said, once you're in a regular schedule, your floors aren't that dirty. So, you know, you get about a week before you actually have to clean it yourself. And it has about 3000 Pascals of suction power, which is less than a lot of others. But according to Narwhal and their testing, when, when it comes to picking up dust, they found only about a 2% difference. Now, I don't know if I can verify those numbers exactly, but I will say, say that I didn't really notice a difference compared to some of the more powerful vacuums that I've used. And it, the vacuuming is pretty adequate. Now, like I mentioned, this can all be controlled from the docking station itself, or you can use the app. And there's a lot of cool things you can do there. So the robot itself has LiDAR built in, and that's how it gets around. And with that LiDAR, it will scan your entire home and make a floor plan so that it knows where to clean and where not to clean. And you can go into the app to select the different cleaning modes, or you can tell it where to clean and where not to clean. Having that LiDAR built in 
in is really key because it gives you a really accurate map and it just gives you the full control over what the robot is doing. So overall, I really think that the Narwhal Frio is kind of a unique take on the home robot cleaner. The two-in-one systems have been around for quite a while, but having the mopping first mentality is a big deal and makes a big difference when it comes to actually cleaning. So if you want to learn more about the Frio, I'll leave links and everything you need to know down below in the description. I know robot vacuums, robot mops are not necessarily the most exciting things, but if you have a home and you want to keep it clean, this is, this is something that I think is must have.